डेटाब्रिक्स लेग बेस ए हाय हेलो एवरीवन आई एम नवल एमल वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल डेटा मास्टर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डाइव इनटू द मेजर माइलस्टोन डेटाब्रिक्स लेग बेस द फर्स्ट फुली मैनेज्ड पोस्ट्रेस इक्वल व्हिच इज कंपैटिबल ओएलटीपी डेटाबेस बिल्ट डायरेक्टली ऑन द लेक हाउस प्लेटफॉर्म so if we talk about the historical oltp the ols tp systems are new they are powered mission critical applications for over 40 years going on back to systems like ibm in 1960s and so on if you are comparing with oltp versus olap so databricks lakehaus platform has been exceptional for olap that is your online analytic applications and it powers all your big data analytics machine learning pipelines your business reports dashboards etc but enterprises still relied on the separate oltp systems for real time transactional workloads now lake base changes the game it brings low latency insert update deletes within the same platform called databricks lake house so what is lake base so it's a serverless postgres sql engine managed by the databricks so it's fully asset compliant key constraints familiar syntax it supports the open source postgres sql extensions it's built using the neon tech from the databricks acquisition and it deeply integrates with the lake house that is delta lake unity catalog and the databricks applications so now we have so many benefits switching to the oltp in the databricks using postgres so oltp for the lake house fully managed postgres sql built on the modern devops there are so many features you can read out these all i'll give you the link for this blog now let us straight away jump on to our databricks platform to start creating a database instance so once you are on the databricks platform you can come to compute and from compute you can just click on to oltp database and the moment you click on to this it's in preview in couple of weeks or months this would be generally available now i'll just click on this create database instance and you just need to give a database instance and select the capacity so in our case i'll just take data master database and i'll keep the instance size capacity as 2 you can go for the advanced settings but i'll keep it the advanced settings as default the restore window is 7 days i'll just hit on create so this will take couple of minutes now yeah my status shows it's available and my database instance is up now with the name called data master db so i'll just go back to the compute and if i go to oltp database and you can see the size 2 who is the creator of this and if you get inside it the status is available and the instant id is created and you can see the postgres sql version is 16 so from here you can delete the instance if you want you can stop it if not in use you can edit this and you can hit on new query to get started with your databases in databricks lake house the moment you hit on to this it will take you to the query tab or it will take you to the workspace where you can start creating a new queries and you can just write all your sql queries here i mean postgres sql yeah it supports oltp systems and you can see at the top it's a postgres sql databases and you got a postgres sql you got a information schema you got your postgres sql catalog your tools and you have a public schema okay so whatever the databases or whatever the tables you are creating here it gets saved into the public because the default one is public and this acts like a catalog so your databricks postgres acts like your catalog and within that we have a default catalog default schema called public so you can see the ui uh, here you can see it's a postgres sql your instance is up and running here 
and let me start creating a very simple table test table into the public schema so i'll say create table table name is test and i'll just take id integer and now i can use primary key here if it was a databricks lake house no we could not use the primary keys there because it was not supported a constraints on a standard catalogs but now yes we can do it so i'll take a second field name and i'll simply call it as a worker i'll assign a variable maybe 25 and let me hit on run all and the moment i hit on run all yeah now it says okay you can see here now the output says okay so if i do a quick refresh and your table is within your schema public yes and you can see here it's your id and the name so you can insert the records into your table and you can use this as your oltp system so that's all for this video guys i hope you understood uh lake base that is your postgresql databases in your databricks lake house platform so i have explained you how to create an instance and how to start querying it into your databricks lake house platform and it's a uh, completely serverless and it's decoupled your storage and your computer is completely decoupled here i hope you enjoyed this video so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and like the video and share it with your friends Thank you for watching again. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.